Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today guys we are here inside of Roblox Studio. In today's video I'll be showing you exactly how you can go ahead and make one of these new find the games. So the find um, the games are getting quite popular. In this tutorial over here I'll be showing you from start to finish how you can make a game like find the markers or find the stickmen. So if you are wondering exactly how you can make one of these, this video and the series is going to show exactly what you need out for you guys. Before I start anything off over here, this is actually my first video on the DevBlocks YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, which 99% of you probably have not already, unless you're watching this in a few months time, make sure you guys go ahead and do that because you're going to want to go ahead and be subscribed to the ch this channel to know everything about developing on Roblox. But yeah guys, without the let's go on into this tutorial after i finally told you guys about rblxcodes.com which is my own roblox code website where you can find out game codes music codes and guides there is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out or all the codes for over 300 roblox games so if you guys need a code for a game it will be there and we as a guest let's just go ahead and go on into this video now so when making these types of games you can either choose to have the player run into an image and um, a version of whatever you are finding for example i'm going to make it this example video here is going to be called find the mushrooms i'm going to be making a bunch of different mushrooms guys so pretty much um for example if i was to make a mushroom game i could either choose to have the player try and find these images around the map or try and find the physical object for example find the markers has it where you find the physical marker but on the um marker index where you actually see how many markers you've cleaned up you actually see the images of the marker guys so either way you're probably going to want to go ahead and make an image of whatever object you're creating and you may want to go ahead and create a physical object for the player to run into guys keep in mind that in today's video i'm not going to be showing you guys how you can make the physical object just because i have no clue what you guys are going to be um, wanting the player to find and also i'll be showing you guys how to actually build models like this in future um, videos on this channel so what we're going to go ahead and do now i'm going to show you guys how you can make a image of whatever object you guys want for free and actually import it into roblox and have it in your game just like this let's go ahead and jump on jump on into that now so what you're going to want to go ahead and do here is actually come to any photo editing software you could do this with photoshop whatsoever it doesn't matter but guys here's a free one online that you guys can use if you don't have photoshop or whatever it's called pixlr.com i'll try and re remember remember to link this down below in the description what you're going to want to go ahead and do here scroll down click on launch pixlr e now we've done that guys we're going to go ahead and start this so um what we need to go ahead and do is click on create new and we're going to go ahead and create a random um thing over here so um doesn't matter about the name i'm just going to make it square just to make it um simple so just do 300 by 300 for example for an example over here and um actually turn yeah turn off background there we go so create that now let's quickly quickly agree to this um so pretty much guys now we have this so this is what we're gonna be actually um using to make whatever you guys want to go ahead and make as an image so i'm going to go ahead and select the brush over here to the left and scroll down and then set the softness to zero this is just going to make it so that we're not going to have like any weird thin outlines over here and make sure you guys it's on um it's on black so what I'm going to go ahead and do, this is a bit thick, so let's quickly turn down the size a little bit to, let's say, 15 pixels. So guys, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is do a black outline of whatever um, whatever you want for your image, guys. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Let's quickly do a black outline of a mushroom over here. It doesn't need to be perfect. Right, okay, I say it doesn't need to be perfect, but let's, let's try this again to make it a bit better this time. And let's make the bottom bit over there honestly guys i'm no artist myself i'm absolutely terrible at drawing stuff so yeah keep that in mind so now we have our basic mushroom over here what we're going to want to go ahead and do next is add a new layer so just add an empty layer over here and we're going to go ahead and drag this underneath and um, we're going to drag this underneath there we go so now we're going to want to go ahead and add some color to this mushroom so um again you can do this with whatever thing you're creating i'm going to go ahead and draw this underneath guys so as you guys can see here i'm drawing on the black line because i have this image because i have this layer underneath 
um the outline there you can't actually see it and let's make a blue mushroom over here guys for an example today so let's go ahead and do this right now honestly this mushroom it's not really looking in the best of shapes but it doesn't need to be perfect it is just a, a little demonstration for the video over here guys and of course you can just tidy this up a bit more you may want to go ahead and increase the pixel size of this just so you guys don't really have um as you can see we don't we can't like have them sharp edges over here you can't increase the pixel size um, just how I created mine 300 by 300 pixels. You guys can create those a bit bigger. Um, but we're gonna want to go ahead and add some white spots right now. Let's quickly just add some random white spots to our mushroom over here. And there we go, guys. We have a completed mushroom. So now we're gonna want to go ahead and do file and save. We're gonna save this in a file place that we can easily find it from. Make sure when saving it, you select PNG and also select transparent on. We want the background to be transparent. You guys don't want to have any background color or that'll show in the game. So now we have Save the image what you're going to want to go ahead and do is come to, to roblox on the website and click on create once you have clicked create guys go to decals and we're going to want to go ahead and upload this image to roblox so now we are here on decals go ahead and click choose file find the file that you've made i'm just going to use this one over here and i'm just going to call it test mushroom there we go guys simply upload this right now now you guys have this uploaded what you need to go ahead and do here is click on it and copy this um these numbers over here guys you need these numbers so copy these numbers right now so once you have these numbers copied i'm going to show you guys what you need to do next in roblox studio so we're back in roblox studio right now we're going to simply import a part over here um and i'm going to show you guys how you can get a mushroom looking just like this okay so i'm going to go ahead and size this whatever size i want let's just uh, maybe not make it too big but there we go guys it's nice i'm just gonna go ahead and push this in a little bit just to make things a bit easier and now guys what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is click on the plus button next to this part over here and click on decal keep in mind guys if you don't see exactly what you see on my roblox studio i will be making a video showing you guys exactly what you need to know about roblox studio and how to set it up just like me but essentially guys once you have that decal over here in the texture bit copy and um, well no paste the the code that you copied the numbers that you copied from the image that you guys just uploaded like i told you guys to click on enter and now guys that's going to go ahead and put it on our block right now however our block is um well for one it's only shown it on one side and also it's not transparent how do we make it transparent well we're going to want to go ahead and um un well, we're going to want to go ahead and go to transparency over here. Slide this all the way to one. Now it's transparent. However, guys, you can only see it from one side. To solve this, copy and paste the decal. You can do this by clicking, by um, selecting it and doing Control D or Control V, Controls, Control, Control C, Control V. Um, anyway, guys, now we have this decal. Instead of putting it to the front, select back. So now we have it on both sides right now. It is, there we go, on both sides. Okay. So, there's also one final thing that you're going to want to go ahead and do. Unselect can collide. This is just going to make it so that when the player walks past this um, this block over here, he's not going to be caught. Um, they're not going to be caught behind it. I'm going to show you guys a little example over here. Um, so, there we go, guys. We have this now in the game. And now that can collide is off, I can simply run past this over here. However, guys, I did forget to turn off can collide for this. And that's going to mean that this one can not... Um, well, I can't walk through it and also i forgot to anchor it as well but anyway okay so we have that fixed now we have our parts we have our mushrooms in the game that's how you guys can go ahead and get your mushrooms in the game and that's the first well whatever you guys want in the game i'm going to say mushrooms when i say mushrooms guys that just means whatever object you choose but now i have my images in the game guys i'm going to show you what you need to go ahead and do next with these images so for this video i'm only going to be showing you guys a, a, a well how to actually import the images and objects into roblox this video this part is not going to be to do with any scripting however we will we will need a little bit of scripting later on guys not to worry because these sort of games don't really require that much scripting and it's not too difficult if you guys do find the scripting difficult in my next episode um i will be making scripting tutorials but anyway guys okay so now we have these added i'm going to show you guys just a basic example of how you can have these in the game and some of the stuff that the popular games contain so one thing that i'm going to show you guys today is the walls that you guys can walk through so um there's a easier way to make these than you probably think so um normally there is in these games there's a bit in the wall that you guys can walk through which will open up a new area however guys you may be well it may be quite annoying to make these 
at first you may think that you have to go ahead and make them like this and actually like make the um entrance kind of like this guys and then make a block that you can walk through for example in there however guys it's a lot easier than that all you guys need is one part so um for this let's say we want this mushroom on the other side of the wall but the, the player needs to go ahead and walk through the invisible um door in the wall how are you going to make this well guys you're going to want to go ahead and have a part over here next we're going to want to go ahead and actually create another part in the game right now and then i'm going to go ahead and rotate this a bit um, keep in mind guys i'm using ctrl r to rotate it and now i'm going to make a little doorway over here so i'm going to make the doorway um this big because I don't know the scale of um, if Roblox playing you know, or guys, it might actually be useful if I quickly get an R6 dummy here just to size it up. Okay, guys, that should be fine. Anyway, we have this over here right now. We have this doorway over here. I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate model of this. That's that's for later. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and move that out of the way right now. So, guys, we have these, these two objects over here. What you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is click on this object, then click um on model at the top over here after you've done that guys click on the gate then go ahead and select both of these parts right now so the nick as you guys can see in the explorer we have the negate part over here and this one select both of these guys you do this by holding control and clicking both of them now you've done this simply click on union and this is now going to go ahead and empty out this section of our door over here then now we can simply slide oops let, and then we can simply slide this in this is the exact same size of the door to be fair it was well um let's quickly see the um the width of this what's the width of this um let's see x y what's it gonna be on is it gonna be the the z one um oh never mind i forgot yeah this is actually a um right wait right okay so it's gonna be this over here so um actually to be fair because it is a union port it's gonna be right okay anyway pretty much doesn't really matter because yeah we're gonna go ahead and do this right now um so we have a this is going to be the door that we're going to go ahead and have the player go through. Also, guys, make sure you do anchor all your parts. This is going to make sure that they don't fall over when you are in the game. So we have this right now, guys. We're going to make the door. It doesn't need to be perfect because this is a tutorial video. But um, how are we going to make it so that the player can walk through this door? Well, what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to slightly discolor it a little bit um, over here yeah you can kind of see that that's a bit discolored so now we've done that guys what we're going to want to go ahead and do here is go and um go to can collide and unselect that guys now we have that unselected we'll be able to go ahead and walk through this door let's try it out let's play the game and let's see if we can walk through this door so we have this just imagine that this is enclosed in the room and there's no way to get it other than going past the wall we can now simply walk through there and get the mushroom on the other side so yeah guys that's one of the things that they like to do they can also go ahead and do this in the floor right now so um let's create another example of this guys you can do this on the floor as well so let's just say that there is like a grave or something like that that has and you know guys right one second we'll quickly get my grave i have been trying to make one of these myself but i thought i was just going to show you guys how to go ahead and do this as well share um share my method so pretty much guys okay so let's quickly get this in here so i've just um went ahead and got a grave um over here let's quickly do this and then there we go okay so let's go and put that on there right now okay so pretty much guys let's say let's imagine that this grave right now is in the floor and we want to go ahead and make a mushroom that is when you step on the grave over here you guys can go ahead and go through it so what we're going to want to go ahead and do right now i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this part in the grave but this time i'm going to go ahead and stretch it down um there we go keep in mind guys this is just a thing that i got off the toolbox right now i didn't well i got the gravestone from the toolbox but then i just made this okay guys anyway what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is do the same thing select this and then go ahead and select uh union no never mind not union negate now we have that as a negate part one minute i want to quickly put that out in the workspace um and also this as well we're gonna want to go ahead and control group both of these together Wait, no, um, we're going to want to go ahead and control with it. Um, so get the negate part, get the negate part over here. And I'm just going to quickly drag it out here. So get the negate part and also this bit over here. 
group them together and union so now guys we have if we go ahead and move this out of the way you guys will see that there's an empty bit over here to fall down okay so now we have that um to be fair it was probably better if i was to make this a bit deeper but you know it's fine it's a tutorial um over here and it's not going to be perfect but yeah okay so now we have this we can simply make this um and unselect can collide um one, one minute let me quickly anchor that part it is anchored okay so and then now i'm gonna go ahead and add why is that spawning all the way over there i don't know we're gonna go ahead and add a another part over here put this down a bit there we go and then put this over here there we go and we're gonna go ahead and skip this out right now and we're gonna go ahead and put our mushroom on there for example if the player were now to walk in the grave to be fair i probably would need to size these a bit better let's quickly put the spawn over here okay guys so now let's go ahead and say if the player were to oh, i forgot to anchor the grave and i forgot to anchor them pots great okay let me um let's quickly do this right now can collide needs to be on for this and then these two need to be anchored there we go okay let's try this again hopefully this should work this time anyway we're over here right now and let's say i wait have i accidentally turned on can collide for this i think i might have um can collide that should be off um one minute guys right not too sure what has happened here uh right okay wait is it just because the hole itself is so small yeah i think it is right yeah we can't just get through there but one minute guys let's try and make this a bit better for the video over here i'm just gonna quickly scale it out um wait first i'm gonna put that down there i'm just gonna scale it out over here and then move this down here there we go for tutorial sake it doesn't really matter that it doesn't line up properly but okay so now this should properly work so now we have a bit of a bigger hole over here let's just imagine that we can't see this gap here and we go into the grave and it's not gonna let us go down there it is guys finally we fell down and let's just say we've got the mushroom over there of course guys you're gonna want to go ahead and make the sizing of this better for the character to fit down but yeah that's just a, a fun example that you guys kind of have there you can also have parkour uh, and whatsoever guys i think they are the main ones that are a bit difficult to go ahead and do if you guys want to go ahead and see how we can make teleport rooms and all that sort of stuff guys i will be showing that in a future part not this one and i think that's going to be it for this video right now guys you can probably start getting on building fuel map right now and come back tomorrow if you're watching this the day it comes out for when i'm going to show you guys exactly how we can go ahead and script this up and make it fully working so i hope you all did enjoy this video if it did by any chance help you out make sure you guys go on and smash that subscribe button but yeah guys i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out